The overall goal of this procedure is to accurately measure the glycolytic rate of cells using extracellular flux analysis. This method can help resolve ambiguities in the field of extracellular flux analysis, specifically the use of total extracellular acidification to find glycolytic rate. The main advantage of this technique is that it allows quantitative correction of the total extracellular acidification rate to find both respiratory and glycolytic proton production rates. To measure the buffering power with an extracellular flux instrument, first distribute 50 microliters of diluted acid into each of the four A, B, C, and D ports of the measurement probe cartridge. Next, program the extracellular flux instrument to run an extracellular flux assay with a standard calibration cycle, followed by two cycles for each of the four port additions. Then, load the prepared cartridge into the machine and calibrate the instrument according to the software instructions. When prompted by the program, remove the calibrant containing plate and insert the plate containing the assay medium. Then, continue the program using the average of 8 to 10 data points obtained at a steady state from before and after each port addition to calculate the cumulative difference in the pH caused by each injection of standard acid. Plot the change in pH against the nanomoles of protons contained in the 7 microliter volume trapped by the measurement probe. The linear slope is the buffering power in milli-pH units per picomoles protons.